President Muhammad Abdul Hamid calls upon all to take initiatives so that future generations grow up being inspired by Bongo Buntu's principles, ideals and spirit of liberation war. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina tables motion in the parliament for special discussion on Bongo Buntu's life to pay homage to the great leader. Cabinet approves proposal for coordination between land registration and mutation process for proper land management. Awami League believes in tolerance and does not want to eliminate any political party, says Obaidul Kader. U.S. President-elect Joe Biden begins working on stepping into White House as Trump refuses to accept defeat. And Shakibar Hassan returns to home of cricket in Mirpur after 376-day ICC ban. Assalamu alaikum. You're watching News at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chattogram Center. I am Nuzat Sharmin welcoming you all. You just had the headlines. Now we'll move on to news in details. President Mohammad Abdul Hamid has stressed on building resistance against those who seek to hinder the trend of advancement of the country by confusing and misleading the simple-minded people through concocting imaginary stories and situations. He said this while addressing a special session of the parliament on the occasion of the birth centenary of father of the nation, Bongo Bondhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, this evening. The sitting of the house resumed with speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhary in the chair. At the outset of his speech, President Abdul Hamid recalled with deep respect the great architect of independence, the father of the nation, Bongo Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and the martyred members of his family. In his speech, the president highlighted Bongo life and work. Abdul Hamid said, immediately after setting foot on the soil of Bangladesh, the great architect of independence, Bongo Bondhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, started to restructure the economy of the war-ravaged country, as well as develop democracy and make the parliament functional. He said, framing a constitution for the nation within a short time under Bongo Bondhu's leadership was undoubtedly a huge accomplishment, and it was exemplary for all democracy-seeking countries of the world. The head of the state said Bongo Bondhu's dream was to build a prosperous Bangladesh free from poverty and hunger, free from corruption and exploitation. The president highlighted various action plans taken by the present government to materialize the dream of Bongo Bondhu and hoped that the happy and prosperous Golden Bengal would be built by the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The president said Bongo Bondhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman is not merely a name, he is an institution, a history. There is no scope to look at Bongo Bondhu and Bangladesh separately. The President called upon all to take steps so that the future generation can grow by drawing inspiration from the principles and ideologies of Bongo Bondhu and the spirit of the liberation war. The President urged the United Nations and the developed countries to make sure so that all the countries of the world could get Corona vaccine at a time and equally. About Rohingya issue, President Abdul Hamid called on the international organizations and world community to come forward so that the forcibly displaced Rohingya can return to their homeland with dignity. In his speech, President Mohammed Abdul Hamid expressed hope that the Bengali nation will move forward towards the dis desired goal and build the happy and prosperous Golden Bengal dream of Bongo Bondhu by the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina by overcoming all hindrances including the coronavirus. Bongo Bondhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman is not a name. Bongo Bondhu is a great protestant, a great shatta, a great itihaas. Jeevita Bongo Bondhu is a great leader of Bongo Bondhu. The people of Bangladesh are a great leader of Bangladesh, a great leader of Bangladesh, a great leader of Bangladesh. तो तो दिनी बंगो मुंडो शौकोलेर 
অনুপ্রেরণার উৎস হয়ে থাকবেন তাই আমাদের ভবিষ্যৎ প্রজন্ম যাতে বঙ্গবন্ধুর নীতি আদর্শ ও মুক্তিযুদ্ধের চেতনায় উজ্জীবিত হয়ে বেড়ে উঠতে পারে সে লক্ষ্যে সকলকে উদ্যোগী হতে হবে Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said father of the nation Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman faced torture repeatedly for raising his voice for the rights of the mass people but he never bowed his head to injustice she said this while representing general motion on Bangabandhu at the special session of the national parliament today the special session organized as part of the programs of birth centenary of the father of the nation Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman The Prime Minister recalled various aspects of the eventful life of Father of the Nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. She said, Bangabandhu is an example of sacrifice a patriot politician can do for his countrymen. Sheikh Hasina said, Bangabandhu had to pass a remarkable time of his life in jail for realizing the rights of the people of Bangladesh. She said, the government is working for developing Bangladesh as a hunger and poverty-free country, which is the dream of Father of the Nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. তার বক্তব্য সবসময় বলতেন যে তিনি দুঃখী মানুষের মুখে হাসি ফোটাতে চান সেই জন্যই তিনি রাজনীতি করেন কাজী তার রাজনীতির আদর্শটাই ছিল বাঙালি জাতিকে ঘিরে বাঙালি জাতি না ডাকে সারা দিয়ে অস্ত্র নিয়ে যুদ্ধ করেছে স্বাধীনতা অর্জন করেছে এবং তিনি যে এই সংগ্রামটা করে গেছেন দীর্ঘ চব্বিশ বছরের সংগ্রাম এবং মুক্তিযুদ্ধে বিজয় অর্জনের মধ্য দিয়ে একটা রাষ্ট্র নিয়ে এসছেন কিন্তু সেই রাষ্ট্র কিভাবে করবেন কি করবেন সেই বিষয়গুলি তিনি বারবার সেটা উল্লেখ করেছেন বাঙালি জাতির অধিকার প্রতিষ্ঠা এবং রাজনৈতিক ও অর্থনৈতিক মুক্তি অর্জনে তিনি সারা জীবন সংগ্রাম করেছেন জেল জুলুম অত্যাচার নির্যাতন সহ্য করেছেন কিন্তু অন্যায়ের সাথে কখনো আপোষ করেননি Later, Parliament members took part in the special discussion on Bangabandhu's life and work following the proposal moved by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Awami League General Secretary Obaidul Qadir, Colonel Retired Farooq Khan and Asadu Zaman Noor took part in the discussion among others. Earlier, the address of Father of the Nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, which was delivered on 10 January on the homecoming day in 1972, was aired in the Parliament. The cabinet has approved a proposal for coordination between land registration and mutation process with an aim to ensure a proper land management and reduce the suffering of people. The approval was given at the cabinet meeting held with Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and the chair today. The premier joined the meeting virtually from her official residence Gonopabun while other cabinet members were present at the secretariat. With the approval of the proposal land mutation would be done automatically within 8 days of registration. No separate application for mutation will be required. The online mutation process will reduce the hassle of people and the time of mutation and backlog of land related cases significantly. In the existing system two documents dolils are prepared but the cabinet passed decision to prepare three dolils one will go to sub registrar while another to the incumbent and the remaining one to ac land this system would reduce land related cases and anomalies significantly at the meeting prime minister sheikh hasina has laid importance on ensuring the rights of transgender people to their property inheritance The cabinet was apprised about sustainable development goals Bangladesh's progress report 2020 and establishment of regional office of global center on adaptation in Bangladesh After the meeting cabinet secretary Khondukar Anwarul Islam briefed the newsmen at the secretariat He said the cabinet was also informed about the foreign minister's visit to Kuwait as the prime minister's special envoy to express shock at the death of the country's amir Sabah Al Ahmad Al Jabbar Al Sabah Awami League General Secretary Obaidul Qadir hoped that newly elected US President Joe Biden will keep contributing to establish peace across the globe besides establishing a humane and sympathetic world. Obaidul Qadir came up with the hope while briefing journalists through video conference from his official residence in the capital this morning. 
আমরা বাংলাদেশ আওয়ামী লীগের পক্ষ থেকে নবনির্বাচিত মার্কিন প্রেসিডেন্ট ও ভাইস প্রেসিডেন্টকে অভিনন্দন জানাচ্ছি বাংলাদেশের জনগণের সাথে যুক্তরাষ্ট্রের জনগণের সম্পর্ক এবং দুদেশের সরকারের সম্পর্ক এতে আরও নতুন উচ্চতা পাবে আমরা আশা করি রোহিঙ্গা প্রত্যাবর্তন জলবায়ু পরিবর্তন জঙ্গিবাদ নির্মূল সহ অভিন্ন ইস্যুতে আমরা ঐক্যবদ্ধভাবে কাজ করার নতুন দিগন্ত উন্মোচিত হবে Mentioning that Awami League did not come to power by raising the barrel of gun, Obaidul Qadir said, Awami League believes in absolute tolerance to others. That is why it does not want to eliminate anyone or any party. Awami League Sharadant Rehshikar Hwajen, Bongo Bandhu, Otar Kunna, Sheikh Asina. Awami League Dirgor Aznuti Prokriyai, সংগ্রাম আন্দোলনের মধ্য দিয়ে জেল জুলুম নির্যাতন সহ মানুষের মন জয় করে ক্ষমতা এসেছে আওয়ামী লীগ পরমত সহিষ্ণুতায় বিশ্বাসী আওয়ামী লীগ মাইনাস কিংবা কোনো প্লাস ফর্মুলায় বিশ্বাসী নয় বিশ্বাস করে না বলেই বেগম জিয়ার সাজা স্থগিত করে মানবিক ও রাজনৈতিক ঔদার্যের পরিচয় দিয়েছেন শেখ হাসিনা The government has issued a notice asking all to use face masks at all places outside home to prevent spread of coronavirus. The notice was, was issued following suggestions of virus experts as they are predicting that the second wave of coronavirus can hit the country in the winter season. Despite government notice, a number of people are still seen not wearing face masks in the open places including markets, roads and amusement parks. They also present various arguments in support of not wearing face masks in open places. Experts say concerned authorities including market administration and local public representatives have to be proactive for creating awareness about using of face masks to contain spread of coronavirus. Meanwhile, a number of councillors of Dhaka North and South City corporations were seen conducting awareness programs about coronavirus and fruitfulness of using face masks in open places. They sought support of the city dwellers to make the awareness programs successful. 25 COVID-19 patients died in the country in the last 24 hours, increasing the death toll from the pandemic to 6,092. The recovery count rose to 3,39,768 after another 1,623 recovered during the period. A press release of the Directorate General of Health Services said today. It said the tally of infections has surged to 4,21,921 with 1,683 new cases being confirmed. Now international news. COVID-19 global death toll crosses 12 lakh and 64,000 as more than 5,839 people died in the last 24 hours globally. More than 5 crore 9 lakh 20,000 are infected globally and more than 3 crore 58 lakh and 90,000 people have recovered so far. Congratulations pouring in from world leaders and supporters. Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris launched a transition website. Meanwhile, Joe Biden is to make tackling the coronavirus pandemic his top priority following his win over Donald Trump. Announcing the first steps in his transition plan, his team said there would be more testing and Americans would be asked to wear masks. The Democrat is forging ahead with his plans for assuming power in January after major U.S. networks called the election in his favor on Saturday. Biden will rejoin the Paris Climate Agreement, which the U.S. officially left on Wednesday, and he will reverse the decision to withdraw from the World Health Organization. He will end the travel ban on citizens from seven mostly Muslim countries. He will reinstate an Obama-era policy of granting immigration status to undocumented migrants who entered the U.S. as children. Coming up, news on sports.
All-rounder Shakib Al Hassan entered the Shere Bangla National Stadium for the first time today since serving a one-year ban handed by the ICC last year. Shakib was supposed to undergo beep test in order to prove his fitness, but it was postponed for the time being. In all likelihood, Shakib will take part in the upcoming Bongobundu T20 tournament. To end the bulletin, headlines once again. President Mohammed Abdul Hamid calls upon all to take initiative so that future generations grow up being inspired by Bongobundu's principles, ideals and spirit of liberation war. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina tables motion in the parliament for special discussion on Bongobundu's life to pay homage to the great leader. Cabinet approves proposal for coordination between land registration and mutation process for proper land management. Awami League believes in tolerance and does not want to eliminate any political party, says Ubadul Kader. U.S. President-elect Joe Biden begins working on stepping in White House as Trump refuses to accept defeat. And Shakib Al Hassan returns to home of cricket in Mirpur after 376-day ICC ban. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us and we invite you to watch our 11.30 Bangla News. Until then, for the Hafiz.